What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reacting to the Netherlands or Germany. Which country is better? And I know for me, I would not want to make that choice. So we're just going to go ahead and jump on in and figure out what this is all about. This video is from FTD Facts. So if you have not checked them out, you should do so and give them a little bit of love and subscribe to their channel. Okay. Here we go. Europe has some really amazing countries, and within these countries, some of them work together for a much bigger and brighter future. And here on FTD Facts, we are talking about two great nations within Europe who are both doing their own thing, have their own traditions, and these are the two countries of Germany and the Netherlands. Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Dave Wapple and welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, well, welcome for the first time. But here we talk about a lot of different people, cultures, and places from all around the world. So if you like learning about different countries and people, well, hit that subscribe button because that's what we do. Now, this is our Which Country is Better series where we look at two different countries and compare them. Now, we're not saying which country is actually better. We're just throwing it out to you guys. Uh, we want you guys to tell us. What I think that was a little bit clickbait is great about your country so let us know down there on top of that guys if you want to learn more about the netherlands or germany i'm going to have some cards in this video and i'll even have some at the end of this video but let's get started let's take a look at these two amazing nations so country number one let's look at germany now it has a population of 82 million 800 thousand people ranking 16th in the world i did not know that there were so many in rank 16 and what population of 82,800,000 people, ranking 16th in the world with a population density of 232 people per square kilometer. And with its population density, it ranks 58th in the world, but it has a land size of approximately 357,168 kilometers square. Wow. I just love that all the dams here. Beautifully built. We're ranking 62nd in the world. Now popping over to the Netherlands, it has approximately 17,200,671 people ranking 66th in the world. Its population density ranks 30th in the world with a density of 414.3 people per square kilometer. And of that, these people are stretched across a land size of 41,543 kilometers square, wow. ranking 131st in the world. And it actually has a water percentage on its land of 18.41%. It's like an island. That's like a huge island. Holy cow. That would be so weird to just jump in your boat and drive to the store or like go down the road to the store. It's beautiful. Now, when we look at these nations, we also got to really look at their economy. We got to see what kind of money they use and we got to look at their imports and exports. So let's dive into that. Now, the thing about these two countries is they both actually use the euro and to compare one to the other. Well, that would be a hard thing to do. However, when it comes to the euro, one European dollar equals 1.23 US dollars. But with that in mind, let's dive a little deeper. Let's look at their GDP. Let's look at their imports and exports, like I said. So for this, we're going to use the purchasing power parity, which is the best way to compare nations when it comes to its GDP. Now, Germany ranks fifth in the world with a GDP of approximately $4.150 trillion. Wow. Its GDP per capita sits at 18th in the world, being over $50,000. For Germany in 2016, its exports equaled $1.32 trillion, <laughs> being third in the world. And for this, cars, vehicle parts, and unspecified were the top three. For imports, it equals $1.05 trillion, being third in the world as well, with unspecified cars and vehicle parts also being the top Eesh. three as well. Now, for the Netherlands, their GDP is approximately $907.619 billion, ranking 28th in the world. Now, their GDP per capita ranks 13th in the world, being over $53,000. For its exports, they sit at $435 what billion is that? Ninth in the world, with refined pet... Oh, is it the... For its exports, they sit at four. I have no idea what that is. No idea. 
435 billion being ninth in the world with refined petrol computers and telephones being their top exports as for imports they total 393 billion being 10th in the world with refined i'm gonna have to look into that windmill thing because i know i feel like a few years back i'm pretty sure i feel like my dad was talking to me about the windmills and how they were trying to get windmills in indiana or ohio or something and they were like super duper against it and i just don't know why because i mean <laughs> they do it and they're like the best countries in the world it's like i don't get it Fine petroleum crude petroleum and computers being their top now let's break it down even further. Let's look at the living expenses in Germany compared to the Netherlands. So for the cost of living in Germany compared to the Netherlands, food is approximately 7% cheaper. Housing mm. is 18% cheaper. Clothes are 8% cheaper. Transportation is 15% cheaper. Personal care is 4% cheaper. And entertainment comes in at a whopping 11% wow. cheaper. Now, in total, if you were to move to Germany from the Netherlands, it would be actually 13% cheaper to live there. And last but not least, guys, just for fun, let's take a look at the national debt of these two great nations. Now, when it comes to Germany, they have approximately 2.6 trillion US dollars in debt, equaling approximately $31,202 per citizen. That's about how much America is in, a de is in debt with student loans. It's like three points up then trillion dollars. And if you were to put those in single bills and wrap them around the world, it would go around the world 10,176 times. Wow. As for the Netherlands, their debt is 512.8 billion US dollars with approximately 30,344 per citizen. So there you have it, guys. That is just a look at these two amazing nations. My name is Dave Wobble, and I want to thank you guys for tuning in and learning about these two different nations and seeing how they compare. But I want to know which country is your favorite. Let me know down there. And I also want to know why. Is it the food? Is it the people? Is it the culture? Let me know down there. Okay. Does anybody know where this castle is from? If you do, put it in the comments below. Um, that's beautiful. So yeah, that's about it. Um I wanna know the things like the minimum wage for the Netherlands and the minimum wage for Germany. Um things like that. Uh, I feel like there's something else I was gonna say, but I'm I'm totally spacing it. Um Guys, if you guys want to support the channel, I will put some links down in the description. Um, and the original link to this video will also be down in the description too if you wanted to watch that or go to his page and give him some love. Um, other than that, which country do you think is better? Netherlands or Germany? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.